What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we're doing this unboxing of the McFarlane Destiny figures, as you can see here. And so with this set, we have um, the three basic figures here, the Warlock, Titan, and Hunter. And then so we have the basic ones here at the bottom that you can see really well, or at least better in the uh, screen. And then up top here, we have some exclusive figures. So we have a GameStop Warlock, a Target Titan, a Wall Greens Hunter, and then over here, a Walmart Hunter. So each of these are like the basic figures, I guess you'd call them. I, I don't know a whole lot about Destiny. These are my brothers. That, and so he bought all these and wanted to do a video on them. So I'm just doing it. So I don't know a whole lot. So you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, and he wrote some stuff down tell the, talking about the different weapons and stuff. So I'll, I'll um, obviously talk about that when we get to it. But um, so like I said, we have the three basic figures here that you get, then all the exclusives over here. And then to go along with that, we also have the Lord Saladin figure, which is kind of too big to fit in the camera. And so this is a giant figure. I don't know what the exact sizing looks almost uh, probably about a 10 inch figure maybe, possibly. Of Lord Saladin, so I'll we'll open this as, along with it too. Again, still a McFarlane toy, and so um, just on the back here, you can kind of see pictures of. So here's the normal, well, I guess two normal exclusive, ex and then the exclusives. So you can kind of see that, which we'll go through and open here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these out of the box, and we're gonna go through them individually, and I'll, like I said, um, talk about what they each come with and everything. So let's get them all open and see what they are. So first up here we have the Iron Banner Hunter, and so this is the no like normal, just plain Hunter out of the set. And this Hunter is wearing the Year 2 Companion Armor, and it's the armor I guess you get from Iron Banner, used for running Iron Banner and stuff. And it's um, got just a plain old shader, it's not got any uh, different shaders on it, which is stuff that will change in the other um, exclusive sets and stuff. Um, but for this one, as you can see here up close, it's got this helmet. Again, I don't know much of anything about it, but it's um, got, to me, it looks like a normal, like, knight's helmet almost, or close to it. It's got a um, chest plate here with what I believe is the Iron Banner logo or some sort of logo there on the front with the two wolves head in the tree. And I like this whole, like, uh, like the reddish orange armor color, copper, whatever, with the green. I really like that um, whole design mixture there together and then of course just got um, some weapons here on the side which a bunch of these have them on the like holsters or the belts but none of they aren't real weapons that you can do so it's got like um, some pockets and stuff on it there's a cape with the um, big tree there on the back kind of like that goes with the logo so I, I like the whole design how it runs all the way down there and stuff and then some uh, like uh, knee pad type things armor pads there on the knees with that tree logo on it there too And so then it looks like it has some maybe some more knives there on its side arm and stuff And so that's really all there is like I said I don't know a whole lot about it So I can't really say much to it and with this hunter you do get of course with all these you'll get bases so You can get a base to like stand them on of course put their feet into like the hole or whatever and stand them on it um, But I obviously won't do that for every single one of these are showed, or I just want to show you that it does come with one. And then the hunter, all the hunters here do come with this wolf's head, um, like hat, so you can stick it on their head like that and make it, you know, whatever that sort of thing is with the wolf's head. Um, but then it does, uh, oh, it also comes with a ghost. So each one of these will have a ghost and all the same characters, so all the hunters have the exact same looking ghost, so nothing really changes with these. So these are your little... Helpers, obviously, if you know the game, and uh, it was famous, at least for Destiny 1, that Peter Dinklage did the voice of the your character's ghost in that. And then it has weapons, and so the first weapon here is um, the Thorn Hand Cannon. So here's what it looks like, and I can't, I like I said, I've not played the game. I did start playing it at once, and I just couldn't get into it, so I quit playing, um, which, of course, disappointed my brother really bad, but too bad for him. Um, but so there's the gun so you can obviously tell by looking um, whether or not you think it looks like it does in the game or not. Not exactly sure but all the guns have these pegs sticking out of them so I believe that's the stick in the back so if you want to like hold onto you can like stick it in their back or something that one's not really working of course I don't know if the cape oh maybe I don't know, but I assume you can use it yeah to like stick them in the back whatever to hold the gun on the back but it does come with that Thorn hand cannon, and then it also comes with the Hung Jury SHR Scout Rifle here as well. So you can see that there, 
in the design of that. Again, it's got the pig for the back and stuff. And so obviously we can stick it in the hands, but um, I've heard these hands are kind of uh, kind of um, finicky and sometimes break off and stuff, so I'm not going to try that. But the thing is with these figures, they are kind of quite heavy and like they feel really thick and like durable. So I, it surprised me that they do sometimes break off because they do feel really thick and heavy. And McFarlane's known for making pretty um, decent figures and stuff, and I think they look really... Uh, cool and stuff and c when they come with all the weapons and everything I think that's really cool but that's going to be for the normal Iron Banner Hunter and next up here we have the Vault of Glass Titan um, so the Titans are kind of cool so they're like as a Titan would be like the big muscular or I don't know like the strong people in the group and stuff and so this uh, Titan is wearing the Vault of Glass armor that I assume you get from like a raid or something or you use for a raid not exactly sure um what the whole raid has to do with this and stuff but um i think this armor looks really cool like i really like the orange like the like all the orange throughout and stuff and then of course it has like a blue um blue dark blue possibly greenish undertone here to go along with it and then i like this whole like side sash like cape type thing or um waist thing coming off of the waist and then of course as i mentioned um this one does have a uh knife here on the side so i said they all like have these just in different spots it's got some looks like ammo pockets and stuff all the way around on its belt and then some more um armor there on the legs with the orange and it's got some like big spike things here you could like spike somebody like stab you <laughs> or stab your thigh at him or something like that and then on the back looks possibly almost like a jetpack or something because i know these characters do like have like flight and stuff ability so maybe that's how it gets and stuff and then the helmet there has like a, it's hard to fit in the camera, like a one eye, almost like a cyclops type design. But I think it looks really cool. And so this again has no shader on it, so it's going to be your normal one. And like I said, the ones coming up later will have shaders to them to change their colors or designs and stuff. Um, it comes with an orange ghost. So again, these, um, all of these will have like a orangish ghost color or orangish color ghost with them. And I think they look a little cooler because it's, Hard to see, but it does have a little bit more design to it than the other one did. So it comes with that, and then of course it's weapons. And so first off, we have the Gallahorn rocket launcher. So this is a big old rocket launcher, as you can see here. Again with the design, I like this. How it has like this pocket thing on it, or I don't know. Maybe those are rockets. I don't know, but I like the design that it has right there. And so you can see the like paint detail. Everything obviously it's not perfect because it's a toy, but. It looks pretty good, and so there's both sides of it. And again, it has the pegs to go into the back, so you can obviously carry it around. And then, of course, you look in there and it shoots you, boom, like that. Or maybe it's the other side, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is the other side, so it sits like that. And so that's how um, the Gallahorn. And then it also comes with the um, Invective Shotgun. So here's the shotgun, as you can see there. And I like the whole orange design it's got on it there. And so there's the other side again they're just all repeats so for the same side so there's the two guns that it comes with and so that's gonna be it for the vault of glass titan and next up we have the king's fall warlock and so in the game when i played i chose a warlock because i like the whole look and design and stuff of them and kind of remind me of like jedi from star or jedi yeah the jedis from star wars and so this is just in its um king's fall armor from the raid and it just again has no um shade or anything on it because that's what the exclusives are for and so this one looks kind of weird with this helmet it almost looks insect like to me but like it's made of bone almost the design like bone or wood or something but of course just like a solid um almost like a glass dome helmet with this um like i said wood or bone design on it. Then, of course it goes on its shoulders and everything and i really like this purple and bur like burgundy color here like of the coat that it's wearing um, I think it looks really cool then it has an armband made of the same material with like a orange design on it a piece of it on its leg as well and this one doesn't like have a belt with knives in it which is kind of surprising um, but so there's not much more to it it's just a warlock as you can see there and of course there's just a close-up of the hel whoops, helmet if you want to see that so there's the warlock and then of course it comes with a green ghost which I'll show you close. It looks a lot like the orange one in design and stuff. So we got a green ghost. Again, all the warlocks will come with a green ghost. And then to its weapons. First off, we have the black spindle sniper. Maybe if I hold it in the right direction. So here is the sniper, which I think I like the end of it here, the way it looks, the design of it. 
I really like that. Um, but so this is just the sniper. So obviously, again, if you play the game and know the weapon stuff, I assume you'll be able to tell that's what it was because of the design. Like I said, I don't know what they they're supposed to look like, but to me, the design looks really good, and I assume they're almost like they would be exactly from the game. And so there's all that it looks like, and I like how it's got the scope and everything. And again, the little peg to stick into the back of it. And then it also comes with the Touch of Malice r rifle as well, which I think this thing looks cool and weird at the same time. So this thing here kind of looks like, um, I don't know what you call it, like a gyrosphere or something like that. Like, you know, no matter how you do it, it's always showing you the proper direction. And then, of course, it has this, like, um, cloth with like holes and stuff just hanging over it and if you lift it up you can see like the handle and stuff up under there um, but it's such a weird like gun design like it's all wrapped up in everything like you don't want to see what it is or something um, then it's got this weird little thing here hanging down and then what looks like to be a uh, kind of like a bayonet sticking off of it you can like stab someone with it or something but um, I just like the way this looks I think it looks cool and again it has the peg to stick on the back of it and so that's pretty much it for the King's Fall Warlock. And next up here, we're back with another Iron Banner Hunter. And so this is our first of the exclusives. And this is the Walgreens exclusive character. And so this um, Hunter, as you can see, is wearing yellow and like different colors. So it has the same sword design and armor, just different colors. Um, so it still has that whole chest plate with the, um, I think, Iron Banner um, shield or crest there just in a silver color instead but as you can see it's yellow with this weird um, bird helmet as you can see there it kind of looks like a bird almost that has like a beak and eyes and stuff well that's the celestial nighthawk and it's an exotic um, armor helmet and so that's why it looks like that so that's one of the things that makes it exclusive and then it's also wearing the blacksmith shader and so that's I guess sort of why it has the colors and, and the different designs in the um, armor here than what the um, other version had and so just a comparison here's the two side by side so as you can see the difference in colors and of course the helmets and everything but just so you can see the difference so this is the normal one and this is the um, night or the blacksmith shader with the Nighthawk helmet on it there and so again they're pretty much other than that, they're the exact same, just different colors and stuff. And of course, since it is a hunter, it does also come with the wolf's head, like, covering, so you can put that on the head, obviously. Comes with the same ghost. And then, obviously, all the guns are going to be pretty much the same. It um, just repeats. But this one comes with, the, again, the thorn hand cannon. So we got that same hand cannon again. And then this time, or this one comes with the um, invective... Uh, shotgun there as well so of course it comes with a different gun to go along with it so that's um, really all there is like I said most things is the different helmet so with this one the bird looking helmet so the Nighthawk and then the blacksmith shader changing the colors of the armor so that's going to be it for this Walgreens exclusive Iron Banner Hunter next up we have the Target exclusive Vault of Glass Titan so again it's going to be very similar to the last one just obviously some different um, designs in the helmet as you can notice this one to me I probably like one of the best like out of all these figures I like the way it looked mostly because of the helmet which we'll look at and so that's obviously one thing that makes this different so it's got the Helm of Satan 14 I think it is exotic helmet and so there you can see like the side it's got of course like old Spartan like hair fan going on there and then there's the helmet design that makes it obviously look a little different there and then also you can see like the different colors and I'll bring up the other one here so again pretty much very identical in all their armor obviously their helmets change but the armor so this one has an Amudant ink shader so that's why instead of so all of the orange it's all like blackish it almost looks like a matte like gold or uh, gray sorry color but everything else is exact same so they have the exact same armor design and layout just different colors is the only thing that makes them different so of course this is the like I said the color or differences are the color of the armor and then the helmet which is the only thing that makes it different and so that's the it for the target exclusive Titan and next up we have the GameStop exclusive King's Fall Warlock. So again, it's a warlock just like the last one. 
but this time it's wearing the Light Beyond Nemesis exotic helmet, which you can see here, which I think looks really cool. This is probably my second favorite out of the set because I really like the look of the helmet, like the like big feathers or wings there on the side of its head. It just looks super cool. I really like that design. And then I'll show it here in a second, but as you can see, the colors are different in the, of course, the orange pants leg, and this time the legs or the jacket is all like a really darkish like blue really dark purple indigo ish color and so this is the hollow shader and just so you have a comparison here's the normal one so you can see the difference of course in the helmet designs and then the uh, armor collars and stuff so different legs and uh, jackets and stuff going along there with those two so we'll take that one away. So of course we're looking at the GameStop exclusive one here. And then so it is a Warlock so it does come with the Green Ghost. And then it has the Touch of Malice Scout Rifle once again. So just like the other one again the cool rifle. Um, that I just really like that design of. And then it also has the Icebreaker Sniper Rifle here. So this is a different one that we haven't seen yet. And so again it looks um, really, I like the way it looks of course I'm holding it upside down. Um, but I like the way it looks a lot. Of course, um, you have like the sight here looking this way, and of course, it fires like that. And so there's the whole thing again, pegs to stick on the back if you want to. But I like, you know, all the little designs and stuff with the details in there. Um, it just looks really cool. This gun looks awesome. It looks like it can do some damage. And so that's pretty much it for the Warlock from GameStop. And next up we have the Walmart Iron Banner Hunter. So this is, as I just said, the Walmart exclusive. And so with this one, there's not a whole lot of difference um, compared to the first one, which we do have here. So it has the exact same helmet on. So they're wearing the exact same, just obviously a different color. But again, the whole exact same design. So it's got the Year 2 Iron Companion armor. So that's why um, it's got the same helmet and everything. But the difference is this one has the Million Million Shader. So that's why it's the different color. So it's got the gold instead of copper. It's got like this light whitish pink cream color and stuff. And then a blue belt instead of like a brown belt and everything. And so that's what makes it different between the two there. And so this, um, since it is a hunter, it does come with the wolf's head again. But this time the wolf's head has a blue band on it. All the others had a brown. These bands were brown around it. So that makes it a little bit different too with the shader. And as I mentioned, it is a hunter, so it does have the white ghost again. Nothing changed there. It comes with the thorn hand cannon again, so all of them have come with this so far. But another thing that makes this one different is that it comes with the bolt caster sword. And so that's another thing that makes it a part of the Walmart exclusive. So it comes with this sword here, um, which I really like this whole design on it. The blue design there. It's got these weird things on the side. Of course, the peg to stick in the back and stuff. But this sword just looks awesome. It'd be so cool if this was a real sword or something because you could really do some damage with that. Um, but that's pretty much it for the Walmart exclusive Iron Banner Hunter. And last up here we have Lord Saladin which is the Iron Lord and runs the Iron Banner. And so some thing about him, it's uh, he's one of the original um, Iron Lords so that's why um, he's kind of like the big guy out of all this. And as I mentioned, he's in control of the Iron Banner, so he's like the big head guy out of the game and stuff. And um, so I think he's uh, like um, runs the whole like raid, like is in control of the whole raid thing from the first Destiny game. And of course now I think it's a different uh, character for Destiny 2. I don't really know that much about stuff. Um, but with this, there, he obviously doesn't have any like special armor. Like there's nothing really... Um, special about his armor or anything like that but as this character goes first off he does have a different helmet so you do have this helmet here that you can switch out in place of it so if you don't want his uh, just normal head here you can switch it out and I've got to show like a close-up of his um, body here so there's his head as you can see and then some like different parts of the armor you can see the wolf's logos there the trees on the side arms here of course, a belt with all sorts of different pockets on it, holding different weapons and stuff. Surprised he doesn't have any swords or knives around him or anything. And then, of course, some armor on his legs and all that. Um, so that's his body. So then here's his helmet that, of course, can go along with it that you can switch out there. So it's obviously got a um, socket joint there that you can take the head off and switch it. 
And then if you do that, that like, because you have to take it off and switch it, you can put this cape on it, which I think the cape looks cool, and they put a lot of design into it. So, again, it's got the, um, I don't know if that's the Iron Banner logo, um, but I have seen this before, so it's obviously hands holding this giant axe there, and then it's cape. And I like how they tried to put, like, fur and stuff on this like obviously it's fake and it feels really matted and gross but probably as it would be if someone was wearing this about stuff but you can obviously uh, put this around his uh, neck and stuff and you know it'll be a cape for him to wear um, which I think would be pretty cool and then with his weapons he obviously comes with probably the coolest weapon of all which is the iron battle axe so it's the axe that was on the back of the cape and so it's just this giant axe here that you can see and I like how it's got like the chains wrapped all the way around of course has the whole tree design going on there and I like the whole end of it like you could kill someone with this in too if you needed to but I just think it looks awesome so obviously you can stick that in his hand and stuff but I'm not gonna try that I just think it looks really cool and then it also comes with the Jolder's hammer machine gun here so as you can see it's of course giant tote for him to hold it um, but this gun looks really cool and it comes of course with the like canister full of all the ammo that's of course feeding into the gun to make it a uh, um, automatic rifle or machine gun and stuff and it just looks really cool and of course it still has a peg on it too so you can stick it in its back oh, I guess he does have a peg on his back I was like I didn't really see it so you can uh, stick that in there maybe I don't know exactly how those go in there because they like barely stick in oh and then I just noticed he has this cloth on his leg with the logo on it there too and so that's pretty much it for Lord Saladin there's not much more to say on that just he's a giant figure I don't know if the box says anything I don't see anything about the size so I would assume by the size he's probably about 10 inch or so so probably about a 10 inch uh, figure here which is the last one and um, it's not exclusive or anything like that but that's pretty much it for all of these Destiny figures from McFarlane Toys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like Destiny, great. If you don't, I know a lot of people don't feel so good about Destiny. I don't enjoy it or whatever. But I know my brother loves it and is like obsessed with it. So that's why he bought all these figures. And so that's why we just kind of want to show them off. So if you do enjoy like Destiny or enjoyed this video at least, please leave a thumbs up for me. Leave any comments you have down below. Let us know what your favorite um, f uh, character is, like what you like to play, what kind of weapons and stuff you like to use. And I'll let my brother read some of those and um, just let him uh, know what you like and stuff. And then, of course, subscribe to see more. Do that for us, please. We want to grow and get big. Seventh column. I don't know. I remember that part of the game. Um, but do all that for us, please, and we will see you next time.